Some of my earliest memories of Transformers would be when I was with family members and family friends and we would be playing with the toys. We'd get on the ground, we'd start playing with it. We'd do all the voices, the sound effects, and we'd change them from robot to vehicle and back again. And it was just reenacting the fantasy. It was just so much fun. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The, the first Transformer I had in my collection was the original Generation 1 Brawn and to this day I still have it in my collection. My favourite Bumblebee piece in my collection would be Masterpiece Bumblebee. It's a really nice toy. It converts really well from a Volkswagen Beetle Type 1 into a robot. The conversion is both counterintuitive and fun. It's just a really well-made toy. What I think makes Bumblebee so endearing to fans is that he's the most relatable to a lot of people. The original Bumblebee is a Volkswagen Beetle and this was released at a time when all the other Autobots were trucks, sports cars, flashy race cars. He was the only car that wasn't flashy. It wasn't a truck, he wasn't a Jeep. He was just the kind of car you would find sitting in someone's garage, in someone's driveway, and you wouldn't notice it. And I think this epitomizes the idea of the robot in disguise. I'd say my, my interest in Transformers became an obsession more or less from the beginning. I remember as far back as 1985, I'd already started cataloging my collection. Some of the most iconic pieces in my collection, first of all, obviously Brawn because it was my first one. My other one, surprisingly, would be Generation 1 Beachcomber, who just happens to be my favourite Generation 1 toy because as a kid, I just really had a lot of fun playing with it. Maintaining a collection of this size, my main adversary would be space. I've had to purchase several bookcases in order to display all of these toys. My other nemesis would have to be dust. And the main way I reduce dust in my collection is simply by having them in their own dedicated collection room. Not many people come in and out and it just really helps to keep the dust down. My transformers often serve as landmarks for my life. For example, when I went on my honeymoon, I bought my reissue Galvatron. Uh, when my daughter was born, I had Softimus Prime with me in the delivery room. So each of these toys represent different stages in my life. 